Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Vijay Arora. I am the chairman of Department of Surgery at Sir Gangaram Hospital, New Delhi. I am taking this opportunity to talk to you all about a common surgical problem suffered by a lot of people called fistula. You may have heard about fistula before and it is also commonly known as fistula in NO. A fistula is a opening outside on the skin and with one of the body linings and it usually leaks urine or stool or any other fluid. When it leaks stool then it is the intestinal fistula and if it is connected to the lower end rectum then it is fistula in NO. Fistula is something which develops as a collection of pus which is called abscess which happens in patients who have a lot of constipation painful passage of stool and sometimes bleeding per rectum which means when you bleed when you pass stool many people just think of it as piles and ignore it many people go to uh, some doctors or quacks to get some treatment for it you do get relief from it also but if it has not healed, it will form the abscess which on either rupturing or even incised or cut open by a doctor will result in the passage of continuous pus or even stool. This is called fistula in NO. Fistula is something which requires surgery for its cure. This surgery can be done in many ways. Everyone today is interested in getting the surgery in one go and definitely what is nowadays demanded by the patients, laser surgery. You know, laser surgery is something which has been advertised a lot for various uh, problems. What I would like to tell you is, you should get the correct surgery and don't ask for the most exotic or quick surgery. Laser is something which requires no cuts to be made but the fistula is something which has an opening inside. If the inner opening is not closed, any amount of laser cleaning of the fistula will not heal it. Very often fistula can heal itself. It can also be that there are periods of few months or sometimes even a year or so while the fistula is not draining. So you think you have already healed by any medication that you may have taken. Fistula may also be a very complex fistula, which means that it is connected to more than one organ or it is coming through an area where the muscle controlling the anal opening is present. If it is passing through the muscle, Cutting the fistula may result in loss of control of the anal sphincter, that is the muscle controlling it. Therefore, we sometimes have to resort to cutting it in stages. There are various methods. We cut it in stages, half and then one third and then complete and that will preserve the sphincter and will not result in any loss of control of stool. You must get to a specialist surgeon for fistula and do not be disheartened when he says it requires two stages to be done or three stages to be done. Very often I get patients who have had one stage surgery and they think it is a failure because the fistula has not healed and they come back with to another person. Every person doing one surgery will result only in failure of healing. So you must persist in the treatment of fistula and get it treated till it heals completely. Do not be disheartened by the time taken, the amount of dressings that may be needed to be done, change in your diet and medication that may be needed to be done and Till it heals, you should be under the care of the operating surgeon. It is also important to realize that some fistulae 
are due to infections which require specific treatment. If it is a tubercular or TB fistula, no amount of surgery is going to work. So insist on and your surgeon will definitely do a biopsy. And the biopsy will tell you the exact disease and exact treatment. Do not leave the fistula for long. It can have complications. Thank you.